1945年の8月6日何百年も栄えたものが一瞬にして亡くなってしまったあのまあそういう歴史があってそういう大きなものに挑んでいこうそうしないと生きていけないじゃないかというところはやっぱり広島の人たちはみんな持ってるんじゃないですかね。松田って広島の血が濃いっていうんですかねだから普通考えないようなことでもやるんですよね難しいものがあったら取り組んじゃう例えばロータリーエンジンを量産化したとその当時ロータリーエンジンっていうのは夢のエンジンって言われてたんですよね小型で軽量でハイパワーとこのロータリーエンジン作ってるっていうのは松田だけなんですよねなんか普通みんながやってることをその通りやってでうまく儲けたりうまくビジネスすればいいんですけどどうも松田はそういうふうに考えない変わり者なんですね人とは違うやり方をどうしても選んじゃうずーっと走り続けて壊れない誰よりも長い距離を走るんだってそれを証明するにはロマンに24時間レースまさか勝つとはっていうのが<笑>正直な気持ちガイナダ精神っていうのは決して諦めないとか突き詰めるとか英語で言えばキャンドゥですね馬力が高い方がいいこれは常識なんですけどその常識を違うやり方で超えたいスポーツカーはライトウェイトスポーツに限るっていうのが我々の考えですだから300馬力でなくても250馬力250馬力でも300より速いコーナーとあるサーキット軽量化のおかげでコーナーを速く回る未来は燃費もちゃんと解決しないと走って楽しくないですよねだから技術開発もそのことを考えてエンジンの燃費を世界一にするということにこだわってるんですよ軽くてちっちゃなエンジンと軽い車体とすごくかっこいいデザインこれを合わせればまた新しいスポーツカーの価値生まれそうな気がしますね変わらないことはね挑戦し続けるいろんなことに挑戦をするそれは人と違う道であっても気にするのやめよう匠が匠の技を駆使して作ったものとして、まあ、日本刀というものがあるんですよね切れ味と折れないこの両立をしているというところで硬くて粘いとここはまだね科学では完全には証明されてないところなんですよ繰り返し繰り返しやってできた技でしょうね手取りは白いここは白こう白とそういう指導方法ではなくて自分がやってることを盗めていってるわけですよねいつ叩きを入れるのかその色であったり匂いであったり師匠はどうやってるんかというところを身を見真似から入っていって自分の方法を作り出す今の我々のやってる仕事で言ったらやはり基準を作ったりそれから今いろんなものが発達してるわけですから CAE 計算を駆使したりいろんなことをしてあるレベルまでは持っていくんだけど。やはり最後はその人の感性になってくるわけですからその人が体得しなきゃならできればみんながそうなってほしいそういう場を我々作りたいしでそれに応えるような人を育てていく義務もある
最後は人だっていうのをまずは知ってるんですよね刀もねやはり侍が持ったらこれは使えるどうかどうか分,分かるんだと思うんですねドライバーとしてあの車にも高い要求を求めてくる松田ではあの1996年からこのシステムを導入してですねもう2年間びっちりワンツーマンでやって指導していくで技能知識から寛骨態度これも吸収してで卒業していくとで卒業していった方は今度現場で散らばってですねそこでまた若い人を教えていくと。技能にはここで終わりっていうのはないんです常に上を向いていかんとわしゃもこれだけできるから匠じゃと言うたらダメですよ止まったら終わりですいいものを作ることが自分の夢でないといかんと思うし本当にやりきって妥協せずやりきったかという自信を持たなきゃいけないしかし満足するんではなくてもっとすごいものがないかどうかそしてできたものを見れば大事に大事にしたくなる美があるとこれねずっと私それから30年仕事してきたんだけどこれそれはずっと忘れない気持ちなんですけどね私は松田の車に乗ってこう言われるのが一番嬉しいっていうのは。松田の車はよく考えられてるな乗る人のことはよく考えられてるなそんなに大それた何百馬力とかそんなのはないけどすごく扱いやすくて安心して乗れるまた乗りたくなるこれが言われたら最高の褒め言葉だ車を買う人はまあいないんですよ。まあいるいないと思いますね。とは言ってもドアっていうのはあのどの車にも必ずついているもので、ファーストタッチというかですね、そこで伝えるっていうのは大事な領域だと思ってます。まあスライドドアのその構造的な問題でやっぱりすごく難しいんですよね。重さって絶対的な荷重だけではないっていうことが分かってきていますあの最初軽いのが後でグッと重くなるのとそれが徐々に重くなることでねやっぱりフィーリングを受ける感じがだいぶ変わってきますねとは言ってもですねあまり主張しすぎてもいけないのであの要は無意識のうちに要はなんて言うんですか変に気にならないっていうのが逆にいいことだと思ってるんですけど、まあ、確かにその障子みたいに静かに開いて静かに閉まるっていうのは、まあ理想スライドドアでたり多分理想に近いものなんだろうなと思います。そのドアの動きをどういう風にしたらそのフィーリングがよく感じるかとかですね、そういうことを配慮した設計をしていますね。けどもただ感覚というのもいいというものをなぜいいのかっていう原因を。要因っていうのをやっぱり調べてですねちゃんと数値化して図面に反映させるということをやってるんですまあその数値化するという作業はやっぱり一番難しいまああの周りの例えばまあ男性だったり女性だったりいろいろ背の高い人低い人いろんな人をサンプリングしてですねは私は子供が2人いるんですけどもあの本当にまさにターゲットユーザーで、まあ、自分たちが欲しい車っていうか自分たちの生活の中に使える車っていうそのなんていうんですかねターゲットユーザーとしてそのいろいろ考えてか思っているところもありましたまあ車っていうのはうただの工業製品っていったらまあそれで済むんですけどやっぱりそれだけじゃない作り手のその思いを形にしているというかそういうところが。旧大店を狙ってばっかりような車を作ってもお客さんは見向きもしてくれない
松田の車を選んでくださってるお客様というのは、えーとまあ、車そのものも気に入ったというのも当然あると思うんですけどもその車作りに対する会社の考え方であるとかそういうところをやっぱり気に入って買ってくれてるというふうにまあ捉えてますそういうところが他のカーメーカーとは違うのかなっていう気がします。からくりっていう言葉自体が英語にもならないですからやっぱりわからないみたいでパッと見には何の動きもないようにそのままに見えるんですけど実はびっくりするようなものが実はその裏に隠れてるコップにお茶を置いた時にそのお茶のコップの重さによってこう動くような人形があるわけですねちょっとした力を加えることによってそれが動き出すっていうやっぱり驚きじゃないですかびっくりさせるような動きをさせるものっていうものがやっぱり歴史の中でも人形として現れていた発想をまあ現代の社会の,あの車においてもこう取り入れてるという意味でまあ人形例に出してご説明してますでカラクリシートの場合は紐を一本開けるだけでその座面の下に実はもう一個座面がある。最低限の力で無駄なものを発生させずに最大限の機能を利用できるパッと見には2列目は2人乗りかなと思ってたのがなんとそこにはちゃんとベンチシートのようにもなるし反対側を出せば物入れが出てくる一番分かりやすいのは多分あのおせち料理だと思うんですね私は。あまあ、伝統的にまあお正月とかにもおせち料理食べますけどあの箱の中にもういろんな箱がこう入ってるじゃないですかパッと外目にはこう大きなこの箱しか見えないんですけど、まあ、その箱をはぐっていくとどんどんどんどん箱が入ってそれが全てこういろんなこう料理を入れることができるっていうようなところもあれはある意味からくりだと思うんですね世界中探してもこんなシートないと思うんですよ相,相棒ですよね車はパートナーとして見ていただければいいじゃないかと使い込みは使い込むと使いやすいしこんな面もあったのっていう驚きのからくりもありますっていうのは
まあ、人間のこう身体能力を拡大した道具って言いますかもう言われてますよね手足の延長線上にあるもんだっていうふうに思えるような間柄って言いますかこれが人馬一体の神髄なんです馬が乗り手の感覚を分かって今こういう走りをして矢をいるっていうその馬と伊手のコミュニケーション車とドライバーの間にもその関係を作ろうとなぜそうしたいかっていうと思い通りに動く楽しさなんですよ最先端の機器で測れば筋電図も上がれば G センサーもあればデータが取れるようになってるわけですよ例えばねシフトレバーの位置のここの位置にあるのかここの位置にあるのかここの位置にあるのかっていうのはみんな筋肉のその働き違うわけですよ操作のための人間に入る力っていうのが全体バランスしてる必要があるっていうのはねお買い物に行くそのシーンでも人馬一体感が感じられるようなセッティングを目指してセットしてあるんですよ、えー、こんなに自分の思い通りというかね機敏に動くかっていうことをだいたいね最初に乗る人はそれ感じられる思い通りに動く楽しさ早く知っておればよかったとかね乗って人生変わったとかねそんな大げさな言葉が出てくるんですからぜひ乗ってみてくださいあこのことかっていうふうに分かっていただきたいと思いますそ,そういう状態が非常に酔いにくくてあの一体感もある気持ちいい運動だとごくごく低速でのそのフィーリングの作り込みっていうのが実は一番難しいです高速よりも難しいドライバーはしっかりこう頭を保持しなきゃならないとそういう時に一番負担がかかるのが首の筋肉ではありますね G のつながりをスムーズにすると頭部の保持がしやすい首の筋負担も減ったという状況になりました運転をすることで自分の感覚いろんなこの力の感覚であるとか手応えの感覚であるとか自分の実感として入ってくるので今すごくこう、まあ、変な話生きてるなみたいなそういう実感につながるのかなと思ってますけどね。信頼でできない部分があっては非常に困るどんな時でも一貫した応答をしてくれるっていうことが大事だと思ってます運転することそのものに価値がある状態っていうのを作りたいなでそこで松田はしっかり戦っていきたいと思いますね車の価値って何かから入ってるわけですね。乗って、ね、触ってみて楽しい。あ良かったと思わせることが一番大事だと思うんですね。エコカードは思ってませんし、そう言ってほしくないっていうのが正直だと思う。安全だとか環境だとか、いわゆるそういうものって当たり前品質だと思うんですよね。
ライドウェイストップの車でオートマティックトランスミッションの組み合わせって実は存在してるんですよ日本にでこの車に乗るとですねアクセルをポンと踏んでも車がしばらく動かないんですよで遅れて車が動き出すんですよもうこの瞬間違和感ですよねオートマティックトランスミッション車で違和感なくエンジンをかけて発進させようと思うと大体コンマ4秒以下じゃないとダメなんですねということは裏を返したら今までのエンジンのかけ方ではダメで早くエンジンをかける人の技術がいるやっぱり適切な燃焼力これを得ようと思うとエンジンが止まる時そのピストンの位置っていうのをやっぱり一番ベストポジションに止めてやる必要があると。大体これがまあその各気筒の真ん中ぐらいに止めるのが一番理想なんですけど自転車で言うと要はその速く発進しようと思うとやっぱりそのペダルの位置っていうのが大事ですよねですから次の発進に備えて自分の利き足のペダルの位置っていうのはやっぱり一番こう力が出せる踏み込みやすいところ止めて待ってりますよねここれと同じことをエンジンの中でやってやろうこれがまあアイストップなんです素早くエンジンをかけて発進するときに何の気兼ねもなく違和感なくあたかもエンジンが今までかかったかのように発進できるとこれが一番大事だろうと松田車はあえて買っていただくっていったところはやっぱりその走るところの喜びをちゃんと具現化できていると。そういうふうなものをやっぱり提供できるのメーカーになりたいですよね。An obsession has pushed us to keep improving how our cars look, how they drive, and how they make you feel behind the wheel. It's in our DNA. It drove us to successfully engineer our revolutionary rotary engine, and it's driven us to reimagine the automobile as a whole today. Our goal? Ultimate efficiency. To achieve the unheard of, where fuel economy, low emissions, and outstanding driving performance coexist in cars accessible to everyone. To pull it off meant starting with a clean slate versus carrying over old ideas and parts like everyone else. It meant starting from the ground up and rethinking everything to work together in unprecedented harmony. We call it Skyactiv technology. Imagine an engine that pushes the boundaries of engineering by delivering the compression ratio of a Formula One race car and 15% more low mid range torque, yet 15% better fuel economy, all on 87 octane fuel. Imagine an automatic transmission so smart it perfectly rev matches downshifts faster than a dual clutch transmission. Imagine entirely new bodies, 220 pounds lighter, yet stiffer and stronger than the bodies they replace. We imagined it all and more, and then we made it a reality. At Mazda, we saw no other choice, committed to lowering fuel consumption and emissions across our entire lineup while refusing to compromise how our cars drive, pushed us to achieve a new standard for all future automobiles. Skyactive technology from Mazda. Fuel economy, performance, together. The future of driving? Begins now. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? Over 95% of the world uses gas and diesel combustion engines now. And even by 2020, 90% still will be. That leaves only 10% using alternatives. Cars that run on electric, hydrogen, corn, or even french fry oil have potential. And we're working on alternatives too. But the solutions most car makers have come up with so far either offer up the driving exhilaration of a couple squirrels on a treadmill or are so expensive they're just not realistic for most people. To really affect global fuel consumption and emissions right now, you have to use something the globe actually uses right now. Rethink the combustion engine. Make it better and accessible to everyone, and you'll make a difference. A big difference. How big? Consider that current combustion engines waste about 70% of the fuel's potential energy. That's a lot of room for improvement. 
Our overall goal is to get 15% better fuel economy and a 15% improvement in low mid-range torque from the same engine, all on regular fuel. Two 800-pound gorillas stood in our way. The first was figuring out how to capture more energy from the fuel. To do that, we needed to raise the compression ratio by placing a dome on each piston. Because the more you squeeze the air-fuel mixture, the more energy you get from the combustion. But a high compression ratio usually ends up causing knock, which is when the air-fuel mixture ignites too soon because it's too hot inside the chamber. And that's no good. So we had to cool things off. Using some huge engineering muscle, we came up with innovative solutions to do just that. Like a high-pressure, six-hole direct fuel injector that fires gasoline into the cylinder at 3,000 PSI to help keep it cool. And a volcano-like pocket in the piston that improves combustion efficiency, giving burning fuel a place to grow without wasting energy heating the top of the piston. To get all that hot exhaust out without it shooting into the other cylinders, we added a longer exhaust manifold used in race cars called a header. Everyday cars don't use headers because of the emission problems they create, but our advanced direct injection system solved that issue too. That's how we got more energy from the fuel. The second gorilla was making sure we weren't losing any of that precious booty on its way to the wheels, so we reduced friction inside the engine by a whopping 30%. How? By sweating every little detail. We've improved oil pump efficiency by 74% and water pump efficiency by 31%. Reduced friction from the big bouncy bits like the pistons, rods, and crankshaft by 25%. Reduced valve train friction by 54%, and even reduced the effort the engine exerts to suck in fresh air by 13%. When it was all over, we had done what couldn't be done, achieving more torque, better performance, and higher efficiency. Sky Active Technology from Mazda. The future of driving begins now. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? This is a story about a common enemy, one that flummoxes automotive engineers and boxers alike. Wait. In the same way that too much of it can slow down an athlete, it can also lead to heavy fuel consumption and overall poor efficiency in cars. But unlike a boxer, you can't just put a car on a diet. The body has to be strong and rigid, because strong keeps it safe and rigid keeps it handling properly. So our Sky Active target for the body was 30% greater rigidity, top crash safety performance, and 8% weight reduction. We got there with more extensive use of high tensile steel that's stronger and lighter than conventional steel and harder working streamlined geometry, such as crash energy pathways that are more efficient by taking advantage of the entire body instead of just the floor. Our chassis goals were weight reduction, more Mazda nimbleness, and improved stability. Designing a quicker steering system made us more nimble at low speeds. Then, using a very European-style front suspension geometry, we beefed up high-speed stability for that smooth mover on the Autobahn kind of ride. In the rear, we changed wheel angles and pivot points in the suspension links to improve stability and make bumps less bumpy while decreasing brake dive when braking. Big changes like these were made possible by our clean sheet approach. In many cases, car chassis and bodies are engineered by different groups, even different companies at different times. When you do this, each part has to be compromised in order to work with the other, versus being perfected individually, as well as harmoniously integrated with surrounding parts. But since our body guys and chassis guys were able to work together, we didn't have to compromise. Another example, why not take advantage of areas in the body that were being pre-strengthened for crash safety and mount the suspension parts there versus strengthening new areas of the body to mount them. The result, a chassis weight reduction of 14% without sacrificing handling performance. In the end, we achieved some amazing numbers in weight lost and in fuel economy. But numbers aren't enough. Mazda owners want a car that drives great as well. And we delivered there too, by improving the ride in ways you can really feel. So chalk one up for the Mazda engineers, for thinking smarter and finding a better way. Boxers, you're on your own. Sky Active Technology from Mazda. The future of driving begins now. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? An engine that makes more power from less fuel is great. But if stepping on the gas feels like you're communicating with the wheels via messenger pigeon, what's the point? To be fun, a car has to be responsive. Traditional automatic transmissions are great when you're starting from a stop or creeping along in traffic. However, we saw a big opportunity to improve their responsiveness and fuel efficiency. To make it a reality, we needed the best of two worlds. The getting going and first gear smoothness and controllability of a traditional automatic transmission, plus the direct connectedness and fuel efficiency of a manual transmission for the rest of the gears when you get rolling. Basically, we wanted a manual transmission that shifts for itself. Introducing the Skyactive Drive 6-speed automatic, a new kind of transmission that marries a torque converter from a traditional automatic with a clutch from a manual. 
Making it all work and getting the kind of precise, split-second shifting we wanted meant our new transmission needed a mind of its own, literally. So, we implanted an advanced control module that's like having a professional race car driver in your gearbox, shifting with such quickness and precision, it can even perfectly rev match downshifts. With that kind of responsiveness, this high-performance gearbox also improves fuel economy by up to 7%. The net result? All boxes checked. Smooth, direct, and efficient. What more could you ask for? How about a better manual transmission too? One with the crisp, precise shift feel that you'd find in a Mazda MX-5 Miata. We wanted that incredible shifting performance and feel in every vehicle we make, so we engineered the Skyactiv MT six-speed manual to have the shortest shift throw in its class, as well as being smaller, lighter, and stronger than its predecessor too. Thanks to both our transmissions, compact and lightweight designs, our new Skyactiv bodies could be built more efficiently around them further contributing to the overall Skyactiv technology goals by bringing improved fuel economy and performance together. Jackpot. Both new transmissions are major innovations, and both already have the rest of the automotive world scrambling to catch up. They prove not only what Mazda is capable of, but what can be achieved when you refuse to compromise. Skyactiv technology from Mazda. The future of driving begins now. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? Congratulations, Rudolf Diesel. The engine you invented in 1893 has come a long way. No longer sooty, clattering workhorses, today's diesel engines are quiet, durable, and cleaner than ever. They're also around 30% more fuel efficient than comparable gasoline engines, yet deliver much more torque and power. But with these improvements came compromises. To run their higher combustion pressures, conventional diesels need heavy industrial strength parts that sap driving performance. And cleaning up their nitrogen oxide emissions often requires costly after-treatment systems. So we saw a big opportunity to create more torque, better fuel economy, less weight, and lower emissions. First, we defied convention by dropping the compression ratio to the lowest in the world for a diesel, 14 to 1. This delays combustion by just half a millisecond, which is enough time for the air and fuel to mix more thoroughly, reducing hot spots of oxygen and fuel that would otherwise turn into pollutants. Bingo! Our combustion is so clean that we meet the toughest emission standards without an expensive nitrogen oxide after-treatment system. And while low compression would normally mean a loss of efficiency, we actually improved it because our clean slate approach allows us to optimize the combustion timing, which gives us a longer effective expansion stroke. Another challenge with low compression diesels is getting ignition going when the engine isn't warmed up. So we use ultra high pressure piezo fuel injectors that are so fast and powerful, they create a rich air fuel mixture that's easier to ignite. Then a patented variable valve lift system recycles hot exhaust gases back into the combustion chamber to quickly warm up the engine. Best of all, our engine's low compression ratio doesn't require the usual heavy industrial grade parts. As a result, the engine's weight was slashed by 10% using a lighter crank and pistons and an aluminum block rather than cast iron. This allows us to build lighter, more balanced vehicles with much better handling. Mechanical friction was also decreased, resulting in lower fuel consumption and an exceptionally high redline of 5200 RPM. When we were done, we had created a beast with much more torque at low and high speeds, yet 20% lower fuel consumption than its predecessor. The Skyactiv D 2.2 liter twin turbo diesel delivers the driving performance of a four liter V8, the cleanliness of the latest clean gasoline engines, and the fuel economy of a hybrid. With such dramatic improvements, Mr. Diesel himself might not recognize it, but no doubt he'd love to drive it. Skyactiv technology from Mazda, the future of driving, begins now. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? You may have never thought about this, but driving a car is quite a feat. You're operating a machine 20 times your weight and hundreds of times more powerful. If it feels like you're struggling with a stubborn woolly mammoth, then driving is quite a chore. And if you're not in control, it's scary. At Mazda, we want our cars to feel like they're part of you. We call this feeling Jimba Atai, or horse and rider as one. A well-trained horse doesn't feel like a wild beast. It feels like an extension of the rider's body, with lightning-quick reflexes, fluid movement, and effortless control. When our intellectual powers merge with a car's amazing mechanical powers, the result is something bigger than both. With Skyactiv technology, we set out to enhance Jim Batai while improving environmental and safety performance. So we focused on enhancing the elements that make it up. Directness, linearity, and lightness. 
Directness is all about feeling connected to the car. So when you step on the accelerator, it feels like you're communicating directly with the engine versus something that feels detached. And when you turn the wheel, the response feels firm and immediate, not sluggish or soft. To enhance directness, we did things like engineer the Skyactiv Drive automatic transmission to be locked to the engine power for 90% of the time instead of 50 to 60% in most cars. To understand linearity, think about how it feels to get tossed around in a roller coaster. Being lurched and jerked around may be fun on an amusement park ride, but you wouldn't want this in a car. When driving, motion should feel smooth and gradual, increasing or decreasing along a predictable linear path. This gives the car more stability and the driver more confidence. The chassis plays a huge part in this linear control, so we spent a lot of time dialing in things like the rear suspension to ensure the tires stay firmly planted on the pavement. Keeping the rubber on the road and the steering responsive keeps handling linear. The vehicle does precisely what the driver wants without the wheels slipping. We also did things like limiting brake dive so there's no lurching or bouncing. Finally, lightweight is crucial since cars that are lightweight and rigid are not only more agile and nimble, but also more direct and linear. Thanks to the Skyactiv Technology Clean Sheet approach, we were able to reduce overall vehicle weight by as much as 220 pounds. That's the equivalent of three Akitas, or one small sumo wrestler. Achieving Jimbe Tai is no easy task, but this merging of man and machine is what Mazda is all about. After a decade of developing Skyactiv Technology, Jimbe Tai is now better than ever. But there's no need to take our word for it. Climb behind the wheel to experience this incredible technology for yourself at your nearest Mazda dealer. Skyactive technology from Mazda. The future of driving begins now. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? Most 40 mile per gallon sedans are sentenced to a life of uninspired performance. Not this one. Meet the 2012 Mazda 3 with revolutionary Skyactiv technology. It's not the first 40 mile per gallon sedan. It's just the first one worth driving. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? Crossover, a rolling embodiment of compromise. We can save it. We have the technology. Capable of building a crossover worth driving with breakthrough fuel efficiency. The only Mazda CX-5 will be that crossover. Better, stronger, smarter. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? Who delivers outstanding fuel efficiency? 
without compromising the joy of driving. Mm -hmm. Mazda with Skyactiv technology. And who received the only certified Truffle Tree seal of approval? <laughs> Mazda with Skyactiv technology. And who? I don't know. You've only said it like a billion times. Only Mazda could reimagine driving with revolutionary Skyactiv technology. We build Mazdas. What do you drive? Hey, him. Uh, aren't we forgetting something? Oh, and do see Dr. Seuss's The Lorax in theaters. Rated PG.